HR 4190 is important to me as a student pharmacist, mainly because it will allow physicians to incorporate pharmacists into their practice on site, um, rather than them being far away as they are now. The clinical pharmacist works both, both in the inpatient and the outpatient setting, and I'm most familiar with their um, role in the outpatient setting. And the things that they've done for me are that they're amazing partners in managing chronic disease. And so they can take a lot of things off of my plate that I would ordinarily have to do. And they can bring their special expertise to bear on those problems. For me, 4190 is about access. I've been working with a team of physicians across the western part of the state trying to put pharmacists into their practices. But the barrier that we keep coming across is provider status. If we were able to be reimbursed for the services that we are already doing, we would be able to put pharmacists into these practices and ultimately the patient would benefit by having access to a pharmacist within their medical homes. In our clinic we have our pharmacists doing annual wellness visits and that completely um, allows me to be freed from that task but also each of my Medicare patients then gets a, a pharmacotherapist uh, looking over their medication list. So currently we're working to plan a symposium about provider status um, coming this spring and it's going to be called the Asheville Summit and the first steps are right now we're taking a survey to our MRM Region 3 meeting and seeing what student leaders would be interested in learning about in a symposium about HR 4190. So there's going to be about 800 students at this MRM meeting for Region 3, so students from the whole Southeast, and we're hoping to get at least a good proportion of those 800 students to respond to our poll. The NCAP Provider Status um, Task Force is really excited about the opportunity that this legislation can bring to patients in North Carolina. Uh, there are some pharmacists around here who are doing some amazing patient care services um, and we really think that this legislation will allow them to expand that service and reach more patients. So what we're doing as a task force um, is trying to make sure that uh, we do everything we can to get this legislation passed. We want to reach out to um, the public and patients, we want to reach out to other healthcare practitioners and pharmacists that may not be aware of the legislation to educate them about what it is and the, the positive impact that would come from it. Additionally, we're trying to um, reach out to representatives that are tied to North Carolina um, to really ask for their support in this legislation. So recently I had an opportunity to travel with about 40 or 50 other pharmacy students from across the country and up to D.C. And while we were there, we had the opportunity to go and talk to our senators and representatives about H.R. 4190 and why it's important to us as students and um, to the pharmacy profession as a whole. And it was a really ex inspiring experience because you know, at first I thought they wouldn't even return my phone calls or emails to try to meet with me, but they actually were very receptive to what I had to say and um, were excited that I was trying to be an advocate for my profession, my future profession. So I think it's really important that we as student pharmacists are the ones out there um, talking to our senators and representatives about HR 4190 and what it's going to mean to us in the future.